Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the highly anticipated Women's World Cup 2023. In this video, we'll be discussing all the important details you need to know about this exciting tournament. First things first, when and where is the Women's World Cup 2023 taking place? The tournament will be held from July 20 to August 20, 2023, in Australia and New Zealand. The host countries beat Colombia to win the bid, and the matches will be played in iconic venues such as Eden Park, Suncorp Stadium, and Stadium Australia. Now, let's talk about the teams that have qualified for the tournament. In Group A, we have New Zealand, Norway, Philippines, and Switzerland. Group B consists of Australia, Ireland, Nigeria, and Canada. Spain, Costa Rica, Zambia, and Japan make up Group C, while Group D features England, Haiti, Denmark, and China. The United States, Vietnam, the Netherlands, and Portugal are in Group E, and Group F includes France, Jamaica, Brazil, and Panama. Sweden, South Africa, Italy, and Argentina are in Group G, and Group H consists of Germany, Morocco, Colombia, and South Korea. Speaking of England, let's take a closer look at their squad. Bethany England has been recalled to the team and believes her call-up is a reward for her decision to leave Chelsea for Spurs. Despite some key players being ruled out due to injuries, England's squad remains strong and determined to make their mark in the tournament. Now, let's address the big question on everyone's mind, can England win the World Cup? While it's certainly possible, the absence of some key players and the tough competition in their half of the draw make it a challenging task. Reaching the semi-finals would be a significant achievement, considering the circumstances. For those of you wondering how to watch the matches, England's first game against Haiti will be broadcasted on ITV, the second game against Denmark will be on the BBC, and the third group stage game against China will be back on ITV. The BBC and ITV have reached an agreement to show live coverage of every match, ensuring that fans don't miss a single moment of the action. Now, let's talk about the official ball for the tournament. Created by Adidas and named OCEUNZ, this ball uses the same technology as the one used in the Men's World Cup in Qatar. It contains a motion sensor that provides real-time data to contribute to semi-automated offside decisions, making the game even more exciting and fair. And finally, for those of you interested in attending the matches, tickets are available for multi-match packages starting from just zero Australian dollars per NZD for adults and zero Australian dollars per NZD for children. So mark your calendars and get ready for an incredible month of women's football in 2023. The Women's World Cup is set to be a thrilling tournament filled with talent, passion, and unforgettable moments. Stay tuned for more updates and coverage as we get closer to the big event.